<laughs> so I need to find that building that I went into to fall through the floor. What is that thing? Does anybody know what that is? Yeah. I'm trying to think, when did nine come out? I can remember buying it. The shop's not there now. Must have been, was it 99? When uh, nine came out. That sound about right, 99, 2000. I can't remember. I can actually specifically remember buying certain alterners. Birthplace of Morians. Yeah, I don't think I can go in there, can I? Not yet, anyway. November 23rd, 1999. I'm surprised I remember that, but... So... Jesus. Um, yeah, first ultimate I bought, I actually bought them together. I bought... Ultimate 5. Ah, right, okay. But Ultimate 5... Ultima Trilogy for the Commodore 64 on the same day from Wizard Games. A little independent games shop in town, well, in Scarborough. Uh, I then bought Ultima 7, Black Gate, and Ultima Underworld 1 from a game shop in the Metro Centre in Newcastle. Big box versions. Came back here, went into a Woolworths, <laughs> found that they had the uh, these releases of Complete Ultima 7 and uh, Underworld and fucking sent them back to the shop because these had more game in them. So I actually sent the boxed versions back and got a refund. I did actually keep the runes out of Ultimate Underworld 1 and the um, Fellowship Trinket. Uh, so, uh, a little bit of dishonesty there. Um, oh, I did pick up a key, didn't I? From that body right on that peninsula at the lava. Okay. Um, thanks for reminding me. Uh, Ultima Online. Where did I buy that? I think Ultima Online came from a HMV or something. Ultima 9, that came from the Computer and Video Games Centre in Scarborough. And all the rest I've acquired since. Yeah, because the Ultima 4 I got second hand through a magazine advert. Um, and the actual ank was broken. It had been soldered back together. How the hell you managed to solder pewter, I don't know, but they'd done it. Uh, and they'd stuck it to a little piece of wooden dowel about six inches long. Six inches long. Um, so it was like the staff on the front of the uh, thing, uh, on the box. Right, for some reason, it just tried to install an iOS update on my phone and then said my phone's full, which is bullshit. Anyway, right, so I need to come back to that thing later. Right, I just need to try and find this building again. Ah, yes, it's somewhere around here. 
This is it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what those holes are then. Hark, is that the sweet song of lamentation I hear? Oh, fuck off, come on. Oh, that's not even it. That's the treasurer. Been in there. Really? Uh, I'd love to get in on one, but 4 a.m. Oh my god, even the mouse is reversed. I can't do 4 a.m. because I'm either just coming off work, Eris is asleep about five foot that way through a plasterboard wall. So I'll just end up waking her up. Um, or I'm at work. And I just can't... Well... I can't get any Wi-Fi signal at work. Good enough to... Uh, to run it. It's just a shame. So I'm hoping that... Um, if... WTF Dragon does go to... Uh, the anniversary that he's going to do a recording there which he did say may be a possibility but enjoying your stay on Pagan Avatar. I know he does the uh, if anybody wants to record anything on the topic they could insert it but fuck off it's not the same really is it than actually talking to people so I managed to come full circle all the way back to the bloody beginning. Oh, will you? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You can't make potions in this, can you? There is just something about the control system in this game that's sort of like magnetic I firmly believe that it actually draws you towards exploding mushrooms oh well I haven't been here because there's reagent on the floor and tons of skeletons going to be the only downside of going to uh yes i know that's a eh? really well i've been assuming that north was that way being isometric at all oh well common sense for the lose um, why can't I find this bloody place now? This is really bugging me. Where was that building? through there I've forgotten what I was saying oh yeah it's going to be the only downside of going to California is um, obviously sort of staying up and talking with people but we're going to have Eris with us and I don't really want to have to have my other half bloody going back to the hotel with Eris and then not being able to you know join in and whatever not that she's got a 
clue at all about what Ultima is. Other than up until the start of the year. It was like, you've got all these, but I've never seen you play them. Well, that's because I there was a reason for that. I'm delaying it to do all of them in time for February. Which up until about a week ago, I was panicking like hell. I wasn't going to do it because Serpent Isle was taking forever. I'd actually forgotten how long it was. I know it's linear, but... Oh, go away. I'm going to end up back at the treasurer's building. I knew it. Urgh. I'm going to have to find a map of the catacombs because this is pissing me off. Ow. Well, that's the outer wall. Uh, the 27th of February is the 25th anniversary of uh, the Ultima Dragons internet chapter. Oh, sorry, no, the Ultima Dragons. Um, and there is a gathering at Disneyland in California. So I decided I would play through every game in order and record it all. Yeah. I'm sure I picked that up. And so far I've done everything up to eight. I'll do nine. And then uh, I will go back and do um, la 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 the two worlds of Ultima, Savage Empire and um, uh, uh, Martian Dreams. Right, I'm going to have to have a look at a map of this because it's doing my head in. Why can I not find it? But unfortunately I'm way behind on editing the videos I've made and I've only just uploaded the last video for Ultima 3. So, and to be fair, once I get to Ultima Underworld and 7, I don't need to edit them as much. Other breaks and uh, issues and things like that. Whereas with the, the first early games, because a lot of it is just walking around fighting stuff, levelling up, what I've done is I've made that play at an increased speed through and obviously finding it, chopping it, do, 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 is just a nightmare. Otherwise you're going to have 30 episodes of Ultima 3. Um, where I'm just walking around levelling up. Uh, but that's done, Ultima 4. I was hoping to get the first video done last night, but didn't get a chance. Oh, I'm not going to stop. I just uh, can't find what I'm looking for. And I've been running around it for 10 minutes, so... Oh, I've run past it. That's why. I thought it was a building on its own. Yeah, well, it's actually right near where you come in, as it turns out. What's really confusing though is the those skeletons that have the north, west, and whatever on. There. Oh. Other than a bit of wood, we haven't really lost anything. Yeah, these lot here. That says north. And that says west. Which makes complete bullshit of everything. That should be north. East, south, west. Everybody knows that. I'm going to do it again now, I bet you. 
told you. Let's remember where it is now. Right. I think I now know where I need to go. Uh, I suppose. That's a silly way of doing it. Uh, after you leave that necromancy, you leave the area and upon, yeah. Go to the ledge and walk south and out the door at the bottom. You know enough catacombs to the area then if you go so south is it stone cold so but this is where i went through to fall down wasn't it into the uh into the bit with the necromancers you go into the building thinking that you're going to get the chest and then you end up actually falling through and it was that building I was looking for, I just can't find it. Oh, it's there. Backstab. Uh, right. Yeah. Why is that zombie just doing that? What the hell? I can see the building on the map. And it's just... Ugh. Yeah, done that. So it should be... Down there. Yeah, it's gone. It should be there. That was the building that I entered and there was a chest that's what lured you in to make you fall through the floor and the building is gone I'm looking at it on the map there's a square bit oh sorry a bit sticks out there square bit there yeah, it has actually gone now, what's interesting is something's making footsteps because it's not me. So I've turned my footsteps off. So, who the hell's running around down here? Ah! Blah. That would have been really hilarious. Well, that's annoying. So I've just been looking for ages for a building that has vanished off the map where's this girl I kind of have a feeling that Lithos doesn't really like me. I'm always suspicious of water. Yeah, can't believe that that building's actually vanished.
over them. He's shaking your head up. Jump your fat ass over there. Oof, oof, oof. Don't trust the water. There's some bodies over there, so you must be able to get around there. Hark, is that the sweet song of lamentation I hear? You just have nothing worth having, you lot. That's the point. Stop shaking your head and jump. Just harken back to the days of uh, Grand Theft Auto and not being able to swim, doesn't it? Falling in the water and that's it, game over. So, I must have played this the first time, the same as you, Gollum, with, without the patch for the jumping, because apparently the patch removes the raising and lowering stone platforms and just makes them static. Now, I remember them going up and down. And I just remember it was always a pain in the ass. You'd, you'd target to jump and it'd be like, it'd just ricochet you off somewhere. alive well undead same difference dead man's clothes is it weird check I'm going the right way here Carrying these oil flask things around as well, and I don't think I'm ever going to use them. <laughs> I'm glad I saved it. I am fucking glad I saved it. 